Hey guys, welcome back to another Maggie Insights video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic looking avatar just like myself. And yes, I did not have to download three or more software to get this process done. It only took just one. And I'm going to show you step by step. If you would like to use this for your faceless channels or for just other purposes, hit the subscribe button and let's get into this tutorial. The software we'll be using today is called Design and it's perfect for creating avatars. You can create consistent characters, you can add lip sync, and you can create your very own realistic avatar like we're going to do today. Before we dive in, I'm going to discuss the subscriptions. As you can see, there's a free plan, there's a beginner option, a creator, and a master plan. I went ahead and purchased the recommended plan, which is the creator plan for $19.99 a month, and that plan allows you to create consistent characters, and it's sufficient for what I needed it for. So that's the plan I'm going to be working with, but you can choose whichever one you would like and whichever one works for you. So let's get right in. So once you're signed in, the homepage will look like this. And we're going to start off by clicking this plus sign over here for new project. For the project name, you're going to title your project. And under aspect ratio, you're going to select 16 by 9. And we're going to do this for YouTube purpose and for a landscape option. And then you're going to click apply. I will be creating a consistent character from scratch, so I won't be uploading or pasting anything to here. On the left tab over here, I'm going to click on character. And at the top, with the plus sign over here, you're going to click on build your character. Now you have the quick mode and the training mode options. For quick mode, this is where I will be using to start off from scratch with no image reference or anything. The training mode, if you have an image reference you would like to work with, you would upload it here and use this to build your character. I'm going to go with quick mode and click. Now you have start with a description or start with only one image. I'm going to start with the description because I'm creating my consistent character from scratch and I don't have an image reference that I would like to use, so we're going to click on that. Next, you're going to name your character. Next, this is where you're going to describe your character. And this is where we'll be inserting our first prompt. And for this prompt, we'll be focusing on skin tone, hair, eyes, and the outfit. The settings, we can always add later. Now down here for reference image, if you have a particular image you would like to use or add for reference, this is where you would be inserting it. I don't have a specific image, so I'm going to click on view all styles. In this specific section, you'll notice that there's a variety of avatar image and styles. You can scroll down to see them all. But we're going to click on this one over here, Design Realistic V3. And next, we're going to click on Generate Character. Now it will start loading up your avatar options. And remember, you can always regenerate if you don't like the selected image. After it's done generating two image options, you're going to select the one you would like to use and click Start Building. So I'm going to click Start Building. Next, you're going to click on Use in Consistent Character. As you can see for the images that I have on the right, I went ahead and regenerated my images. Out of these two images, I'm going to select the one that I would like to use by clicking this monitor sign here to place it on canvas. And you'll notice that the image is not 16 by 9, but we can always change that in our settings. To add our second prompt, we're going to click on the left tab over here on character, and then you're going to click generate images. This is a section that you'll see the list of characters that you created in design, but I'm just going to click the X to exit out for now. And over here in this character in action scene, this is where we're going to be focusing on the settings for our character, such as her being a content creator, vlogging, and how she's positioning and holding the camera. And this is where I'm going to want to enter that prompt. If you are interested in creating an avatar just like this, where the person is like vlogging or content creating, you would want to type in the specific line. Her hand is cropped out of the frame, or his hand is cropped out of the frame, suggesting that they're holding the phone. So this specific line will get you that content creator, vlogger, avatar. Now back to the description. Now we'll be pasting our action and seeing for this prompt here. As you can see, this prompt is mainly focused on the action and the settings for my avatar. Next, we're going to scroll down. 
And for this aspect ratio section, you're going to click 16 by 9. Next, you will click Generate. And it will say Submitted, and it's off to Generate. Over the top on the right-hand side, you'll notice that it will come up with two specific options for you. Out of these two options here, I think I'm going to go with the one with the sunroof and click this monitor to place it on the canvas. I'm going to expand it just a bit to fill up the screen. I think it looks great. So now we're going to focus on lip sync and adding that to our character. On the left tab over here, just under AI video, you're going to click the lip sync icon and it's going to say pick a face or upload a face video. I'm going to click on pick a face. Since I won't be uploading any other image for reference and I'm going to be working with the consistent character, I'm going to click here. Now you'll notice this blue select box on her face. In order to add lip sync, we're going to click on it. Next, you're going to click 16 by 9 just to make sure it fits that entire YouTube frame. And click next. To continue with lip sync, you're going to click on pick a voice over here. And this is where you'll be entering your dialogue that you would like for your avatar. If you would like to use any of the voices that's already in the program and design, you would go down here and take a listen. You would select your option. You can play the preview. Hey, are you looking for a fresh and engaging voice for your podcast? And once you do so, you would click generate audio. Now, if you would like to upload your very own audio, you would click on upload audio. And this is where you would drag and drop any audio that you have. And you can also add audios from other source or sites by dragging and dropping it into here. For my audio, I recorded on the Voice Notes app on my phone and I emailed it to myself, save it to my downloads folder, and that's how I'm going to be inserting and adding here. So I'm going to click on select, drag and drop. And then I'm going to click on the sample audio that I did on my phone. Open. Now you can trim any dead space on the audio. And I'm going to drag it up. And I'm going to move to the end just to make sure the image matches the audio. And I'm going to bring the image in. So once you're satisfied with your audio in this lip sync section over here, you're going to notice that it's default to normal. But if you want the best and high quality, I suggest you clicking on Pro before you generate and then click Generate. Now it has been submitted and it'll take 20 to 30 minutes for your video to appear over here once it's done generating. Everything came out exactly how I described on my prompt. The matcha drink with the foam on top, her with the white tank, her with the curly ponytail, and I love how the texture on her skin makes it look even more realistic. Now that the video is complete, you will click download and it will be saved to your downloads folder. You don't even have to use two or more softwares to get this process done. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the subscribe button, like and share, and let me know in the comments how you plan to use your avatar. See you in the next tutorial, and remember, happy creating. Bye.